This is the typical size of a kingbo leet mushroom. So Olia Kutsaruba and her husband David Swab were shocked when they were mushroom picking in an alpine forest in BC and found this. Hey people, let's see what's behind. Ooh. I didn't look under the foliage so then I looked and like all of a sudden I was like ah! <laughs> and I kind of like jumped back and then you were like What's wrong with you? <laughs> Weighing in at almost seven pounds, this mushroom was a find of a lifetime for the couple. It's easier to find mushrooms that aren't edible, that are growing and enormous, and we see a lot of those as we hunt. And so it is kind of a lucky find to find something like this that's so enormous, so untouched, um, and hasn't been picked yet because really usually they're eaten by animals or we've picked, you know, humans pick them before they get that big. Hey, yeah, so we've got um, some stock here. Found just a few days ago, the huge shroom has now been shrunken down and dehydrated to eat and they've also made it into a broth. So it's very concentrated, really nice. You can slurp this like the best cup of broth you've ever had. Kutsaruba has been mushroom picking most of her life. Coming from Ukraine, it's been a big part of her family's history. And there's actually some risk involved if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, the rule is, you know, we even, when we know some of our favorite mushrooms and we can identify them really well, um, but even when we are learning about a new species that we know is edible, we go right back down to the basics. We research using our books, we research using the internet, we do a spore print, um, and we try to identify the mushroom in as many ways and even then if we're tasting something for the first time we have a very small amount and see how that how that um, sits with us and as far as where they found the mammoth mushroom their lips are sealed <laughs> <laughs> well mushroom pickers are notoriously um, secretive about where they find mushrooms uh, and so I would probably not tell you exactly where I found it but the general area is uh, in the Sea to Sky corridor kind of in the Alpine. With the rainy Vancouver weather they're hopeful this season will be one of their best picking seasons yet. Now I'm gonna get out of here because there's not mushroom um, in <laughs> Vancouver. Ashley Burr, City News.